Hello again, you sweater vest wearing hippies, and welcome back to another exciting episode where I insult you and talk about K-pop on the side. Today's glorious episode will coincide with a group that's uh, debuted fairly recently. And this group's name is G-Friend. If you don't know G-Friend, or Girlfriend, I think... If you don't know G-Friend, look them up because their comeback rough was not was an all-kill or a perfect... I can't remember. It was an all-kill on the charts and it was pretty fun. I liked I liked rough. I liked the music video. I liked the dancing of rough and I liked the times 2 speed up version of rough that they did on Idol Weekly. So, I like all those things about G-Friend. I like Unha, she's my bias. Anyway, no, that's not that's a lie. I like Yuju. Yuju's my bias now. It used to be Unha, but Yuju got that voice. Yuju got a voice. A a 2014 debut girl group, really well known for their more acrobatic, mm, their more intense dance moves. Because if you watched Megustas 2, you saw them jumping. And if everyone's seen the meme, you saw G-Friend fall and eat shit a couple of times. Nothing wrong with eating a little bit of dirt every now and then, nothing wrong. It sucks when you're performing and literally you fall on the- anyway. You know, it sucks, but they were known for doing, like, really more intensive moves on- on the stage, and that's really- that's what made me like them, because I started watching their dance videos more, and Megustas too, when it gets to the point where they start, like, bouncing and, and stomping the ground, I like that part. When it gets to the part with the guitar, it's amazing. Their choreo was really fun to watch. Anyway, this is Snowflake. This is Snowflake by G-Friend. You got all six members right here. G-Friend is a six-person or six-member girl group that consists of Umji, Yeren, Unha, Yuju, Sinbi, and you got So on the leader. Stop with your Jessica comments, I hate it. I swear to God, everyone talks about, yes, yes, Sinbi looks a little bit like Jessica, and yes, I follow Jessica on Snapchat. Yes, all, all of those things. But please, Sinbi's our own person. I mean, come on, guys. Anyway, whatever, I'm not really gonna. Yeah, look. Everyone's gonna make weird internet comments, and that just happens to be the the more popular one when Sin B's involved. It's just like, oh, girl looks like Jessica. Uh, girl's generation when Jessica was available. Yeah, this is what you get. You got a little cool little booklet thing. It's really cool. It's nifty. You got all their faces if you're into their faces, which is kind of weird if you're older than like I don't know 25 because literally two of these members have not graduated yet. It's astounding! Them in the back, you got their song list here. With this album, you have a total of seven songs, or seven tracks. Um, you got an intro, and you got a instrument. And if you don't consider those songs, then they are just tracks. The rest, you got a total of five actual tracks that you might actually bump and grind to. But maybe you might bump and grind to the instrumental or the intro. I'm not gonna judge you. I don't need to judge you. You got the intro for uh, intro for the album, which basically leads into Rough, which is really cool. They use parts of Rough. You get then you have Rough, which is their you know that's their album song. When you buy this album, most people only have heard of G Friends Rough, and you've watched the movie, you've seen the choreo, you've watched it in times two, hopefully, and if you didn't. Watch that video, it's fantastic. That's a cool song. I feel, I'd like to argue that it's more mellow than Megustas 2. It's just kind of like more mature feeling. Of course it still has the intensive choreo, but it, it feels, you know, more whole, more solid, more stronger, you know. It just felt stronger, more composed, more experienced, like an oak, like a solid tree. Then you have Say My Name which is the third song. It's a very funky song. It starts off really funky, you know, very electronic bass, but a lot of the times there's a guitar involved, which is nice. Love Star, which is also a very peppy song. It has a little bit of funk in there. Same thing as Say My Name. And I like the both of those songs for their energy. You got Someday, which is, you know, well-composed song as well that reminded me a lot of Rough in terms of just uh, the level of energy, because none of these songs besides Rough have caught my eye, really. They're just like, oh, cool, neat, like, you know, cool songs that come with an album because it's a mini album. Um, and you got Trust, which is their more slow-paced song. Trust is the slower-paced song that has that R&B G-Friend compilation type stuff. It's very, it has that beat to it, but it has that G-Friend voice sound that we know. What else do you get besides a slew of tracks? 
a folder basically of just cute girls because this is basically a folder. Well, look inside. You guys see D? This can this has all your songs. I would hope because you know then they just ripped you off and gave you like a photo book or something, and you have like a folder slot for the photo book which I pulled out. That's basically it. That's all you get inside this little like folder thing. Yeah, one of the bigger treats of the two treats that you get in this album or mini album is you get a photo book. You get the G Friend photo book, Snowflake photo book. And you got back to front, you just see them. They're the main attraction. They're the main attraction. And really, you just got photo book and then you got lyrics. Also, you'll get a random card, which is really popular. So you get a random card. And thank goodness I got the Yuju card because Yuju is my current bias from G Friend. I like Yuju. I like her voice. I like the way she uh, sings and handles herself, and I like the way she dances. If you compare it to the actual book, it's like some it's like lodged in there somewhere. So yeah, I gotta find it. You gotta find it. Scavenger hunt. Anyway, you just have pictures of them, just concept pictures for their like schoolgirl theme. More concept pictures, more concepts! More concept! Umji. I don't know why people hate on Umji. You know, y'all are dicks <laughs> if you hate on Umji. Why? This is a fairly thick book. At the very end, you get all their lyrics. The intro has no lyrics. <laughs> Rough has lyrics. Say My Name has lyrics. Love Star has lyrics. Someday has lyrics. Trust has lyrics. The instrumental doesn't have lyrics. Thank God. You know, they, they have a special thanks to at the very end. Let's talk about the value proposition. Same with Act 7 from 4 Minute. You'll probably find markups on American markets because it costs a ton to import. If you can get it for under 20 bucks with reasonable shipping, and you like G-Friend, if you are a buddy, have you been friend zoned by G-Friend? Quote unquote. If you like G Friend, if you like any of the members, or if you like Rough and you just want to listen to Rough, Rough is a good song. I would argue that the other songs are pretty good as well. It's just that they none of them caught my eye in a sense that Rough did. Maybe maybe someday did, maybe Trust did, because they were a little bit different. Maybe they caught my eye a little bit, but overall it's a pretty solid package for song list. And it's a mini album, so what can you really do? You get a photo book, you get a photo book a trading card, and you get CD and a nice presentation. Very modest presentation by G-Friend. Good attempt. I like it. I like it. If not, I'd say walk on, dude. Walk on. You, there are other K-pop groups that you can listen to, so I've chosen to listen to G-Friend. And I hope you'll make a decision as well. Thanks again, guys. Peace!